Here in Ireland, much of Columban work is focused on responding to the new multicultural Ireland. And we do that by supporting good relationships with other faith communities and working with refugees and migrants. So, of course, when COVID hit, it was a huge challenge. Uh, but we quickly learned that when you're facing common challenge, it brings people together. So in terms of the faith communities, we learned we all face the same challenges in relation to religious services and um, how we support our people. But we worked together to respond to that. And we learned that we had a particular contribution to make to particularly migrant communities and refugee communities where problems of language and understanding meant that we were able to help the health authorities here to have a really solid response to support uh, those communities. And we learned too that we shared very common challenges in terms of how we worked within our communities to, to support each other. And we learned how to pray together and we learned how in adversity you learn things about yourself. We've come through that nearly. We're, we're on the last lap, I hope. And we're really looking forward to being able to come together. So. We don't see this as a year that we paused. It's a year that we learned more about each other and we're really enthusiastic about how we can bring those lessons forward. We've had to work hard to keep each other safe during this pandemic. From cleaning groups to actively monitoring each other to social distancing, all of which doesn't come naturally to us. There have been sacrifices also of not being able to be with our families and friends in their times of need. We've learned to adapt and change just as this pandemic keeps changing, but we're doing it with a spirit of togetherness. We want to appreciate our benefactors who have continued to donate, even though they may have little themselves to share. And now we want to acknowledge those that have donated masks, for instance, to our nursing home when we had none. We also want to appreciate the staff who have put their hearts into looking after us. Their dedication at times has meant they could not meet with their own families so that we could be safe. To all, we want to say a deep felt thank you. Working here as a lay missionary in Balimon, which is considered a deprived area, I have seen the challenges among young people in terms of vulnerability, vulnerability and depression. And with the drug addiction and um, alcoholism at their doorstep, I could see that somehow they have more um, feel vulnerable at this time of pandemic. But with the effort that we make, um, particularly with the Young Church Dublin, uh, we were able to provide them opportunities to gather together online and somehow there are also retreats wherein they can um, be able to meet up with their peers for a moment of prayer and reflection and meditation and of course fun and games. So they, we provide them opportunity uh, to really know that uh, there is always hope and there's light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs>